What's going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and today we're taking a look at one of my old time favorite Lego Star Wars sets, especially for $30, it may be my favorite one that retailed for that. It's the Bounty Hunter Pursuit, that set 7133. It had 259 pieces, three minifigs, came out in 2002, and it retailed again for 30 US. Now nowadays this set's going for 194 new or 88 used and there's a big reason why this appreciated so much. This is a very unique looking Lego set. The color scheme is amazing and it's something we rarely see with Lego. I mean maybe the Naboo Starfighter but again we don't see these greens, these yellows, even these oranges put together. Anyways I got a lot of good things to say about this set but we're going to take a look at its positives and its negatives. But enough talk. Let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll begin by taking a look at the two speeders actually side by side. I'm just giving you guys a 360 view of them. I just love how they complement each other. I absolutely love the engines on Anakin's speeder as well. We're gonna take a little bit closer look at that. Very, very colorful by LEGO standards and especially by Star Wars standards since so many sets are gray or black. Let's now get a little bit more detailed into each of these speeders. And the first speeder we'll take a look at solely is Anakin's. And right from the get-go, you're gonna notice these engines. Check these out. I absolutely love them. They are printed as well as you guys can see, both in the front and on the top. They also have some nice, well, it looks to be horns. They're actually just silver chrome cups. Great use of that piece. Moving to the side, let's actually show you guys a little control panel. Pretty basic control panel, something we see a lot with the Lego Star Wars sets, especially from this time period. And it also has a nice little compartment to kind of store Anakin and Obi-Wan's lightsaber. Now the back of this speeder is also incredible. Check out those engines. Looks so good. I just love this. It looks like a hot car basically and they somehow made it a speeder which I think is great. Here's the underbelly of the uh, speeder. All in all, great looking. They also use that dark sand orange on the sides and I just think it really adds to it. Also look at the top here there's another printed piece there's no stickers in this set. The slanted pieces right here that are green and yellow I mean just all in all they went to town with this and it really shows up. It's one of my all-time favorite Lego Star Wars sets especially for 30 bucks. Let's now take a look at Zam Wessel's speeder. And to start us off, we'll begin by actually taking a look at the cockpit. As you can see, it has this big, beautiful printed window piece. You can open it up very easily, just like so. Now I will say it doesn't, uh, actually it can hold it pretty good upside down, which is actually quite interesting because there's nothing really holding it in. But opening it up, it just reveals the little uh, controls for the speeder. Close her up like so. And then on the side of these wings, you'll notice there is printing, which I do quite like. Again, no stickers. This is kind of like the heyday of Star Wars sets. Moving to the side, there isn't too much to see, but there is actually a pretty cool feature to this. There isn't really any engine detail, but it's not the end of the world. But what I really want to show off to you guys, is you know when Zam Weschel's speeder kind of crashes and Anakin's on top and he falls off and everything? You can actually do that. And a lot of people don't actually talk about this feature, but if you pull this back and pull this one back, bang, the wings come off and it's kind of like it's crashed. I thought that was so cool, great for playability. And just to kind of demonstrate how easy again that is, you can very easily just stick it in like so. Bang, bang, close it up, bang. That is great, and you ba again, you just pull these little pieces back, and there's, anyways, it's just a really creative little thing. They didn't have to do that, but they did, and uh, yeah, I definitely appreciate it. Let's now take a look at the minifigs. 
And here we have the three minifigs that are included. So we have Zam Wessel, Anakin Skywalker, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, Obi-Wan and Anakin are decent, but they have nothing on the Zam Wessel minifig. In fact, just to kind of show off this fig, this was very special for 2002. She has back face printing. So you know when she gets shot and she's actually a changeling, you can do that. It's a very detailed little face. In the front, she's kind of veiled. And then you also notice that she has nice torso printing, nice leg printing. Like, all in all, if, you, if someone told you this minifig came out in 2012, you'd believe them. Maybe not the yellow, because it is yellow, but that's to say it was tan. You would believe the person if they told you that, just because it's such a detailed minifig. Obi-Wan and Anakin aren't bad, but they just have nothing on Zam Wessel. What I do like about them though, is you'll notice that he has his little braid and they both have these chrome hilts for the lightsabers and I just think that looks so good. These are my favorite by far. The problem was is they did tend to flake if you played with them a lot, but if you didn't play with them and you just put them on display, those lightsabers would continue to look like they're new and I just think they look phenomenal. One last thing I wanted to mention is part of the reason why this set's so expensive again is because of the Zam Wessel minifig. This was the only set that included her. And uh, yeah, you can tell why it's actually quite a sought after minifigure just because it is so detailed. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. This set was great. I mean, you got a unique minifig, you got Obi-Wan, you got Anakin, and the vehicles actually don't look that dated like they look quite accurate to what we see in the actual film and the fact that this came out almost 20 years ago is phenomenal as well i mean i love the original clone wars or i should say attack of the clones wave and this is a perfect reason why i just think that these sets look great they are very unique you got good minifigs good value but let me know what you guys think about this one if you like it if you don't any areas you think they can maybe improve on it if you'd possibly like to see a set like this come out in the future. I've been really hoping for a remake of the Bounty Hunter Pursuit, but we'll see if it ever happens. Uh, but anyways, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future LEGO Star Wars reviews, comparisons that we do on the channel. We do something related to Star Wars every Tuesday and they're a lot of fun, especially when you're looking at old nostalgic sets like this from your childhood that are actually really good. Uh, yeah, I, it's just a lot of fun doing it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.